Hey guys, bringing you another do-it-yourself computer repair video today. I have a Lenovo laptop computer here, and I'm going to be showing you how to factory reset this computer. Uh, this could be for several reasons you're doing this, whether you just want to clean up your operating system, uh, or you could be experiencing some errors uh, that you're trying to get uh, resolved by doing this. In this video, I'm going to show you two different ways of factory resetting them. I'm going to show you the first way uh, from your operating system, from your desktop, assuming you can access this. And then in the other half of the video, I'm going to show you how to factory reset your computer if your computer's not loading all the way, and if you can't get here, and if it's stuck loading uh, before the operating system comes up. Uh, so I'll be showing you those two ways. I will add the timestamp below in the description of when the second method starts to be shown. Uh, so if you can't get to your desktop, you can fast forward to that mark. So to start with, from your desktop, uh, we're going to go down here to your search bar and type in reset. Pretty simple. And it pops up here, reset under system settings. If it takes a few seconds for that to populate, wait for it, depending on how fast your computer is. Then down here, advanced startup, we're going to hit restart now. Sometimes your key will say uh, factory reset option, but, but that one says restart. Uh, come down here to troubleshoot, reset your PC, and then we'll confirm it here, reset. Now you've got a couple options. Uh, let me explain these. I call this first one a soft reset. Keep your files. This will do a lot to reset your operating system, but it won't delete all your data. That's good for if you're just looking to um, increase the efficiency of your operating system, make it work a little more smooth. Um, I don't recommend that if you're doing uh, a problem resolution here. If your operating system is messing up, or if, again, as stated before the video, if you're in the situation where you can't get to your desktop, um, we're going to go down here to do the remove everything. This is what I call the hard reset. Uh, make sure that if you can, back up your data first because you will lose everything here. Uh, but this is, is a much larger reset of your operating system, much more effective at uh, fixing any problems. Uh, so go ahead and, 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 and do that. Uh, follow the prompts from there. Keep in mind, if you cannot get this factory reset to process, if it keeps erroring out, you may have to install the operating system fresh. Um, that also applies to if you do this factory reset, but it doesn't solve whatever issue you're looking to solve, you may want to reinstall the operating system from scratch. That video link will be below in the description. Uh, so now I'm going to back up. I'm going to shut the computer down and show you how to get to this uh, from if you cannot access your desktop. Okay, so now that the computer's off, uh, one way that a lot of older Lenovo's will let you in to these recovery options is through the back end. Um, Lenovo likes jumping all over the place with their function keys. Uh, so normally I have found that you press power and you immediately start tapping on F9. Uh, in some laptops it's F10, most often it's F11. Uh, however, I have heard of it being F12, F1, F2. Uh, some Lenovo's have a button along the side here or along the side there. Um, so Lenovo is kind of a pain as far as finding the back channel, but start with F9, F10, and again, usually F11. So you'll hit your power button, and you'll start tapping on F11, um, and it should start to diagnose, uh, or the diagnosing PC screen will come up, or the advanced option screen will come up. So you'll reach diagnosing your PC after finding the correct function key. Uh, this will take you to the automatic repair screen where you will click on advanced options. In this case, I have the use of my mouse. Uh, you may need to tab over or arrow over, but I can click on it there. This will take you to choose an option. We're going to click on troubleshoot. Then again, reset this PC on top. And this is again those two options you had before. You can keep your files on the top, soft resetting, or you can remove all your data on the bottom, uh, which we call a hard reset. Uh, so that's where you would do this, same as we were doing in the operating system. So those are the two ways of factory resetting. Um, keep in mind that that second way through the back end is becoming more and more obsolete with newer computers. Uh, they're starting up so fast nowadays that a lot of those function keys are simply not working um, to access those recovery options. If your computer it is that case where you cannot seem to access those, 
Um, your only other option, if you can't get on to here to factory reset, would be to reinstall the operating system fresh. Um, and look down in the description below, I'll have a link where you can reinstall Windows 10 fresh um, and there'll also be a way in there to download Windows 10 install media direct from Microsoft for free uh, so you don't have to pay for it. Uh, but if this was helpful, please like and share. Any questions you have, uh, check the frequently asked questions below in, in the description. It could save you some time. Uh, but if you do have to leave me a comment, I do try to get back to you guys uh, multiple times a day at least. Um, and of course, subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer repair. Thanks so much for watching, guys.